Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, uh, have you seen my uh, star on the walk of Hollywood fame? Uh, I have... Is it Captain Lou? Uh, Captain Lou Albano? Is that you? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Okay, yeah. That's that. me right there. <laughs> no, I have my own star on the walk. Oh. Uh, yeah, but it's been vandalized lately. Oh. You know, with all the publicity we're getting on the Men Are So Smart show. Yeah. You know. Oh, and then there's the thing about Donald Trump. And a billion things that have happened that have been scandals in Hollywood right. where the stars have not been taken away. Right. We're going to tell you about some of those next on Men Are So Smart. Good. The Hollywood Walk of Fame has never, I repeat, never once removed a star after it's been approved and set in cement. Despite scandals, old and new, the walk began in the 1950s. It's never happened. Not one single star. But now, mm -hmm. powers that be want to jackhammer President Trump's star out uh, of the ground, even though a vandal completely destroyed Trump's star with a pickaxe last month. The city of West Hollywood on Monday voted to remove the star. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, that's breaking news. Uh, they don't have the final say, so their proposal has been sent to the mayor and the city council of Los Angeles, who, along with the Chamber of Commerce, will then decide. West Hollywood officials cited treatment of women for the removal of Trump's star. Hmm. What? Hmm. Similar to how certain members of the entertainment community have been removed from the Academy of Motion Pictures due to their actions towards women, reflecting a stance on the values by the Academy, this is an opportunity for decision makers to take a stand on their values in support of women and disturbing treatment of women, the West Hollywood Council said ahead of the vote. The members also noted Trump's policies, including its uh, decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement, a ban on transgender military officers, and the separation of families at the U.S. border with Mexico, among other reasons for the removal. Uh, but guess who still has stars on the Walk of Fame? Well, I, I, when we're going to get to that. But here's the thing that I have trouble with on this. Donald Trump did not get that star for being president. No. He got that star because he was on The Apprentice for so many years. Here's what else I know. You actually pay to have your star right. put on the Walk of Fame. You have to meet a certain criteria. Right, right, right. Uh, you and I can't just pay, the, I think it's it's thirty or $40,000. To, to have your star there, but you have to have something of value in the entertainment industry before you can even be considered and check off all these boxes, and if you do, then you pay your money, and lo and behold, you get a star. Okay, so this should not be, I'm saying this clearly, and you can say what you wish, but this is not about politics. Right. This is not Republicans or Democrats. This is based on entertainment I'll proceed with the people who still have stars in spite of some sort of scandal first up Kevin Spacey wow this was a big one in fact his is right next to Trump's imagine that Spacey fell from the stars last year after repeated allegations emerged that he acted in a sexual, sexually predatory manner towards men, sometimes under age. Anthony Rapp, an actor on Star Trek Discovery, told BuzzFeed that Spacey made sexual advances in 1986 when he was just 14. In all, 15 men have come forward. Mm. Scary. Yeah. So scary. But has his star been removed? Or vandalized? No. No. Mm -mm. Yep. Now, this is the one that I don't get. Okay. Bill Cosby. Okay. Everybody loved Bill Cosby. <laughs> but Bill Cosby, he still also still has a star on the Walk of Fame that's never been vandalized or touched. And in April, the comedian was found guilty of three charges of aggravated indecent assault 
for drugging and sexually assaulting Andrea uh, Constrand at his home in a Philadelphia suburb in 2004. Uh, there was a move to remove Cosby's star back in 2015, but the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce CEO Laron uh, Gubler refused, saying once a star has been added to the walk, it is considered a part of the historic fabric I want you of to the whole Hollywood Walk of Fame. Repeat that sentence, Ronnie, right into the camera okay. right there. Once a star has been added to the walk, it is considered a part of the historic fabric of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Okay, so what we're saying is <laughs> it's okay if you're a current performer. Apparently. I don't understand this. I, the criteria is completely different. Yeah. And if this is all about the Me Too movement, isn't Bill Cosby really where that all began? Uh, it, it is. I mean, it literally, st well, or did it start with Kevin Spacey? I, I believe it started with Bill Cosby. It did. I, I think Me Too is mm -hmm. uh, the child of Bill Cosby. Okay, how about another celebrity? with a star on the walk who has a scandal in place or has had it. Michael Jackson. Oh boy. Still has a star on the walk of fame. In 2005, Jackson was charged with child molestation, but was eventually acquitted. Many still believe that Jackson was in fact a pedophile. Is his star still there? Yeah. yeah. Has it ever been vandalized? No. No. Not that we know of. Well, and you know, uh, and my wife loves Michael Jackson music. Uh, and, uh, talented beyond belief. But uh, he got out of a lot of scandals by paying people off. There was a lot of money that changed hands to not go to court over things. Mm -hmm. So. And you wonder why they say Michael Jackson was so broke? towards the end of his life. Right. It yeah. wasn't because he was lavishly spending, as one might think. Right. All of his money was going to legal defense. Yeah. Okay, next okay. up. Oh, this one, we were talking about this last night. Jerry Lee Lewis. Beloved Jerry Lee Lewis, a musician who wrote Great Balls of Fire and a Whole Lot of Shaken. In the 1950s, he still has a star. Even though when he was 22... He married a 13-year-old named Myra Gale Brown. Who was his cousin. <laughs> That's right. That is right. Well, the, the family tree doesn't branch very far back there. Yeah, they don't fall far from the tree. Just out there. Uh, a few years later, Lewis began physically and emotionally abusing his wife, according to the LA Weekly reports. And his star? Intact. Unvandalized. Another star. Intact unvandalized don cornelius now oh dang. look i know we have some listeners that are on the younger side <laughs> but to us this guy was he was the king of oh. a show called soul, soul train. train and his voice he, oh don cornelius he had the greatest voice he ever. has a star <laughs> even though he was arrested in 2008 on felony domestic violence charge for beating his estranged wife he eventually pleaded guilty and got three years probation. <laughs> Unfortunately, the man killed himself in 2012. His star? So, still there. Still there. Unvandalized. Yep. This next one, and this one is, this is very con fairly contemporary. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, in 2003, six women came out alleging that Schwarzenegger had groped them in an incident dating back to 1975. Uh, he also secretly fathered a child with the family housekeeper. Schwarzenegger has denied the groping allegations, although he can't deny the the child allegations. There's, no. there's DNA, and he's he's paid dearly, monetarily wise, uh, in that respect. I think he was quoted once as saying, "If you vandalize my star." I'll be back. <laughs> so no one has vandalized his star <laughs> no. in spite of the... Uh, right. All right. Next up. <laughs> this is awesome. Winning! <laughs> Charlie Sheen, the former star of the hit show Two and a Half Men, has kept his star 
through all of his scandals, after he was kicked off the show in 2011, he went on a slew of bizarre and increasingly angry rants. <laughs> they were classic. Which he posted on social media. In 09, he was accused of beating his wife and eventually charged with felony menacing, third degree assault, and criminal mischief. Still has a star. Still has a star. Still has a star. You know, and I, I can't imagine that filming that show was so difficult. He was making a million dollars an episode. At least. He wanted two million. Um, and when he couldn't get it, he threw a temper tantrum, and now he makes zero million. Yeah, well, we don't know exactly. Yeah. We don't know where he makes his money. Sometimes people go overseas, Japan, China. Yeah. They endorse products over there that we never hear about over here. The Hoff. The Hoff was very... Oh, that's right. He was very uh, popular in uh, Europe. Yeah, I think Germany was yes. real popular. Yeah, he has some albums out there, even if I'm not mistaken. The star on the Hot Walk of Hollywood fame? Yeah, he does have one. <laughs> the Hoff. All uh, right, so there you go. Um, I think that this is completely and utterly hypocritical. It is. Um, it, it, well, and it's 100% political. And nor should it be. Then it should not be. No. You know, I mean, these are really, when you, this is a tourist destination. Right. It's a tourist trap. It's right out in front of Grauman's Theater, right over by where they host the Oscars right. and a lot of different award shows. And people flock from all over the world to see these stars and have their picture taken by their favorites. And I'm just saying this, and I want to make this perfectly clear. If these stars are given for entertainment reasons, then that's how they should remain. Right. If you're going to cite the Me Too movement and how it may or may not apply to the president, Donald Trump, then you cannot be hypocritical. You would have to remove all the aforementioned stars that, that have scandals that go along with them. Otherwise, shut up. Right. Shut the hell up. And you know, the other thing that people don't understand, well, maybe some people do, but the people that are vandalizing these stars, uh, Donald Trump isn't paying for a new star every time one gets vandalized. Right. It's paid for by the Hollywood Historical Society, uh, which I don't know what it costs to, put, <laughs> to build one of these stars, but it can't be inexpensive, but doesn't come out of Donald Trump's pocket at all. Yeah. So you're, you're hurting the wrong people. Uh, when you do that. Okay, so from a business standpoint, as a businessman, which would cost less? Security or constantly replacing the stars? <laughs> uh, yeah. Just saying. Yeah. You know what? I mean, really, I don't think Donald Trump should have to pay for that as either. No. Uh, you know? No. I, I, I don't know. Well, maybe they just add, need to add a sniper. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. From a tower across yes. the street. <laughs> a bell tower, perhaps. Yeah, I'm liking this already. <laughs> All right, that'll wrap up this episode of Men Are So Smart. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. uh, as a viewer of our show, we have a favor to ask. We would really like to have you subscribe to our channel. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, how much does that cost me? It's absolutely free. Right now it is. <laughs> uh, don't threat. Act don't now. Don't threaten. All right. uh, Shipping and handling is also free. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> Not valid in Alaska or Hawaii. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel for more of this kind of fun and hilarity and shenanigans. We are two hooligans. My name is Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.